searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Lisa Smith. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Police released new details on a drive by shooting that injured four children in Winton Hills. They are searching for this vehicle. Police say the suspects were driving a Ford Escape. The back driver's side tail light is out. That shooting on Kings Run Drive sent four kids between the ages of 12 and 15 to the hospital. They're all expected to be okay. If you have seen this vehicle or know anything about the shooting, give police a call. Two people are now in the hospital after high winds brought down a tree on two homes in Dayton, Kentucky. Some houses on 4th Avenue are so beaten up the fire department condemned the properties and is making sure no one goes inside right now. A neighbor says two people living in one of the homes had to escape through a window and were both taken to the hospital. They are expected to be okay. Now let's get over to Sherry Hughes with a look at your forecast. Sherry. Hey there, Lisa. We are seeing a little bit of a disturbance still up to the north, so some of our northern counties could still see a light sprinkle into the early morning hours. Otherwise, it is just going to be a drop in temperatures. We're going down to about 33 in Cincinnati, 35 Georgetown, 34 Florence, 33 Middletown. With the wind out there, we're not anticipating much in the way of any frost at all. In fact, we'll have a mostly clear sky. It'll be frost free for the majority of the tri-state with that elevated wind. Tomorrow Tomorrow we start at about 34 at 8 a.m. but temperatures climb to 51 with that wind chill still feeling like the 40s with lots of sun.